the black barn, it's a, you know, it's very sustainable. The property when we first arrived used to be the artist in residence, Zoe Young's little home. I guess the black barn itself had no running water or toilet facilities or anything, so we sort of started from scratch. We took all the boards out from the outside of the building. Um, it's all off the grid, it's solar energy, it's collected rainwater and then septic tank is dispersed as irrigation. Um, and we tried to use everything we possibly could to recycle within the building. All the old internal beams were used again. And um, you know we spent a lot of money actually on insulation, but essentially it's pretty much kind of refabricated from all old materials. It's a subconscious decision, I think, to be living sustainably. Everything's composted. We have our own vegetable garden. It's basically all on permaculture in some areas, planting by the season and constantly growing flowers all year round for our bees. So we're kind of very self-sufficient and um, from the Black Barn, you know, we have our energy, our power. So we try and use most of the power during the day rather than at night because it doesn't come off the grid then. And we're just conscious, I guess, of all not using any um, sulfur Sulfates or that go back into the ecosystem and the water and that, so everything's sulfate free and no chemicals. What we put back into the land is what we put back into our bodies essentially.